In this video, I want to show you some common errors that you may encounter when creating your Flutter application and how to resolve them. Now note that the easiest approach to resolving an error oftentimes is to just use the attached code. So for every lecture where we write code, I've included the entire project code at that point following the lecture. So you can grab that, use it in place of your code, compare it with your code, and hopefully resolve the issue that way. Now with that being said, I want to show you some errors that you may not be able to resolve using the attached code. The number one solution to any problem that I've come across within my Flutter apps is to remove the build folder. And you can do that simply by running Flutter clean. And make sure you're not running your debugger at the moment. And what this will do is it's going to remove the created build folder in your file system just like that. So in many cases, you can just run flutter clean and that's going to resolve your issue. Now, if you're seeing a error tooltip and you're running the debugger, you're seeing an error tooltip that looks similar to the one in the picture here, then you likely have a breakpoint option checked for your debugger. So in the breakpoints tab, when running the debugger, you either have uncaught exceptions or all exceptions checked for these checkboxes, and you just need to uncheck them in order to remove the tooltip from your code editor and instead have the exception thrown in your debug console. If you're getting a platform exception like you see here, then you either need to include a support email in Firebase for iOS, or you need to add your SHA-1 or SHA-256 finger fingerprints if you're using Android. And I show you how to do this in the setup video for integrating Firebase with our Flutter application. If you see this file system exception that says getting current working directory failed, or it says the amount of open files exceeds the maximum limit on iOS, then if you're using a Mac operating system, you just need to run in your terminal the command ulimit dash capital S dash N 2048. And that's going to increase the number of available file handlers and get rid of this error. If you're getting this missing plugin exception, you may just need to end your debug session and restart it. Usually this error comes up as the result of installing new packages. We're not going to install any new packages except when we set up our project, but restarting your debug session or reloading your code editor usually resolves this. If you're running on an iOS simulator and you're getting the error could not build the application for the simulator, I'd recommend first opening it and then heading up to the top and going to hardware and then select erase all content and settings. So those are some errors that you may encounter. Hopefully you don't have any. And in many cases, an error can simply be resolved by just running flutter clean or restarting your debug session or code editor, or many other errors can result from not setting up Firebase correctly. So make sure to go through that integration video in its entirety and ensure that you've done everything correctly.